Welcome back. Now it's time to create the table that we need. So in order to create the table, first you need to open your database and then click on php uh, underscore project or the name of your database that you want to use. I'm going to be using this, php underscore project. And then you need to click here on create a new table. You can here uh, uh, click, you can here type the name of the table. So here, create table, I'm going to type the name of the table. So my name, my table name is going to be messages, messages. And it will have here, we will need for this table, we will need uh, basically four columns. And then I'm going to click on go. Now we have this table. So for this table, we need here, we need ID. We need an ID. So the ID is going to be integer, the length, I'm going to say 11. The uh, uh, AI, me um, AI means auto increment. We need we needed to uh, we needed we need it to be auto increment. It's very important to be auto increment, and also we need it to be primary key. So if you say uh, auto increment here, it's going to say primary. Make sure that this is selected primary. It must be the primary key. Uh, the second is going to be the text, the text that the user is going to send. So this is the text that will be sent by the user the 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 message that we will compare uh, the the message that the user will send so whenever the user sends a message we will have here a message stored and we will compare the user message with this message in order to respond uh, accordingly and then the third column that we need is the uh, is the response I'm gonna say here response response so the text is going to be text, obviously. The response is going to be response. And that's it. Pretty simple. The, thir the last, the last uh, column is not, uh, is not important. You can, you can have, uh, for example, uh, uh, the, uh, the date or anything you want. But I think this is enough. So I'm going to here click on Go. Here at the bottom, I'm going to click on Save. And that's it. Now... As you can see, we have this table, and this table has one, two, three, only three columns. So we need the ID. Make sure that the ID here has this key, which means that it's auto increment, and it's the primary key. We have the text, and we have the response. 